Adam, are you concerned? Do not forget. You are what counts. You. But who are you? What are your goals? What is your purpose? All the answers are here. Here in your city. Take a look around and enjoy your day. Is everything okay? It's just a geohazard. Yeah. Are you worried? Uh, maybe a little. They're happening more often. I don't think so. They're getting stronger. What is it? No idea. Have you ever seen one before? No. What did that man do with it? No idea. It's something like a... Yeah, actually, I don't know. You should give it back. First, we're going to Dr. Sykes. Who would you like to give a gift to, Adam? My wife, Amy Newman. Amy would like this necklace. What do you think? Yes. Um, yeah. Probably. Sure, why not? I'll take it. Mr. Newman. Miss, uh... Hello, Miss Patrick. Well, hello, little guy. Everything okay? Oh, yes, yes, thank you. One gets used to everything. Adapt and evolve. There, there's nothing to it, really. Good day, Mr. Newman. You too, Miss Patrick.
We have time. Come on, let's take a walk around the park. Look, fish! Can I feed them? Use your snack, but keep something for yourself. They always swim in the same pattern. A perfect circle. It just seems that way. I would like to be a fish for a change. Someday, it'll be possible. Someday? Maybe. For certain. Would you like to listen to some music, Adam? Uh, yeah. Okay. No birds. What? Been sitting here for an hour now. Not a single bird. It's wonderful. What have you got against birds? Oh, that constant twittering. It's distracting. You gotta stay focused. You must know that. Do we know each other? What do you mean, no? You know, um, have we met before? If we met, it must have been long ago. An eternity. Eternal or infinite. That's the crucial difference. Anyway, it's good you're here too. I don't quite follow. I'm sorry, sir. Mr. De Palma needs peace and quiet. I have peace and quiet. That's what I'm saying. I finally have peace. I'll be... going. Thank you, Mr. Newman. Come on, Mr. De Palma. No, I'm not going back. Nobody wants to take you back. I'm staying here. Go on, you go. I don't need you. As you wish, sir. Welcome to the Kurtz Recreation Center. We wish you a pleasant stay. Welcome back, Mr. Newman. What can we do for you? Sorry, I know we're late. No problem at all, sir. I'm bringing my son, John, for Dr. Sykes. Thank you, sir. You can pick John up in four hours. Go enjoy the sunny day. Good evening, sir. Today is January 12th, 2048. It is 626 p.m. What? How late is it? You slept 17 hours, sir. Why didn't you wake me? Tracy and James should be back any minute now. You asked me not to disturb you, sir. <sighs> Damn it. Well, at least help me to clean this place up. You have new cloud messages. What's with the cleaner? Is it broken again? Should I clean up? That's the cleaner's job. Where is that damn thing? A 
Let's wipe the dam cleaner. Let's see. Something's in the filter. God, what's this doing here? I haven't seen this card in years. Why did she keep it? Where are they? They should be back by now. How late is it now? 8.30 p.m. Damn, where is she? Maybe you should call her parents. Okay, Frank. Maybe you should call her parents. Any idea what this is about? No, sir. Is there something wrong with it? Tracy didn't mention anything? No, sir. Richard. Evening, Herman. Richard, listen, now is not a good time. I know. It never is. I just wanted to know if Tracy's still there. Tracy? No. Okay. And when did she leave? She wasn't here, Richard. Not today, not this week. But why did she say... You know, Richard, maybe she finally left you. You would love that, wouldn't you? Well, if you ask me, she should have dumped you ages ago. She deserves better than you. So she wasn't there. Maybe something's happened to her. Do you even care? Richard, I know my daughter. She's fine. And when she finally ends it with you, she'll be even better. Whatever. Have a nice evening. calling the hospitals now. Hey, Jenny. Richard. Good to hear from you. Hey, Steve told me you're in hospital. Is... is everything okay? Sort of. An accident. I have to regroup a little. Listen, Jenny, is Tracy at your place? Um, no. Why? She said she was taking James to her parents' place. She should have been back by now. Oh, well, she's not here. I haven't heard from her in days, actually. Have you tried calling her parents directly? Yeah, she's not there. And Herman... <laughs> well, you know Herman. Did Tracy say anything to you in the past few weeks? Did she... you know, did she say anything that I should be aware of? No. 
Oh, come on, Jenny. I know you're best friends, but I'm worried about her. Okay. Of course, she told me that things weren't so good between the two of you. Uh-huh. But the, she's been saying that for ages, and I'm sure you know that too. <laughs> Does she want to leave me? Did she say that? Did she? God, Jennifer, don't make me squeeze it all out of you. Well... She thinks you're having an affair. So she does want to leave. I don't know, Richard. Are you having an affair? <sighs> no. I have to call Metacentral now. Is there anything I can do to help you? I have to go, Jenny. Say hi to Steve. See you later. Medi Central. You are speaking with bot 3452-1. Search for person. Understood. Please state surname, first name, and age of the person you are searching for. Nolan. Tracy. 39 years old. Nolan. James. 7 years old. Understood. Please hold. Your search has yielded no results. The persons you are looking for are not in care. How far back does the information go? You require security level 2 to access archival information. Okay, thanks. Thank you, sir. Were you listening? She is not at her parents. Or at the hospital, either. Can you explain that to me? Where is she? Where is my son? I cannot provide you with any information about that. You damn things save everything else. I retained the information that your wife intended to visit your parents-in-law. But she didn't! Did Tracy meet someone? When she left, was there anyone with her? There was a man. A man? Who? What was his name? I can't say anything about that, sir. I want to see your memory module. Only authorized personnel from Kurt's labs are allowed. Nonsense. Open the slot. I apologize, sir. I do not have the authority to open it. Fine. Then I'll do it. You won't be able to open that, sir. You need the calibration key. It must be here somewhere. That must be it. There is one thing you must never forget, Adam. Your most important task in this city. Being a good father. John wants to learn and grow, and you can help him. Every day. Mr. Newman, your son will be with you momentarily. Thanks. Hey, is everything okay? Mm-hmm. Are you done? For today. We will see him tomorrow morning. Same time, same place. You don't need to do anything. Our clinic service will pick him up. Is there a problem with that, Newman? Another appointment? Should I be concerned? concerned? Absolutely not. No need to worry. The clinic's responsibility is to accompany patients under 12 years of age for two weeks with their recovery. 
In John's case, it could even be a few more days. All right. See you tomorrow, John. Come on. Let's go home. So, what did you talk to Dr. Sykes about? Nothing. He only asked questions. What kind of questions? Dr. Patient confidentiality. Okay. Adam, where are you two? Are you coming home? We'll be right there. Perfect. See you soon. Adam, I just wanted to hand off a bunch of my work to you, but Fred says you need to recover. <laughs> what can I say? Without you, my independence aria is a half as stellar. I'm just not talented enough or uh, too clever for this nonsense. Probably, Probably the, the latter. Former. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the latest Newman conspiracy theory has been circulating around here. Why is a healthy man without any bruises lying in bed? What are you hiding, Adam? Conspiracy theory? Sounds like layman. Who else? So, what is your theory? You got a twin brother. Um, no. Well, then my theory is crap. Although, it took quite a while to answer. Tomorrow, you're coming in. Shaved and showered. Got it? <laughs> Got it. Excellent. See you in the present, Mr. Newman. Don't you think I should know what's going on? He asked questions. Normal questions. How I felt, what I was thinking. Well then, what are you thinking? Okay, fine. It's Monday, and you are watching the present. Your life is our poetry. Everything that matters to you, Mr. Adam Newman. Welcome to the present. Come Sunday, it will be time. A milestone of our age. Project Independence. Richard Kane has joined us at the present. Owner of Infinity Technologies and Governor of City 5. Governor, thank you for finding the time in your busy schedule to talk to us today. So, An old-fashioned as usual, sir? Or can I tempt you with a sunrise? You once had this horrible cocktail. <laughs> we have Batita? City 2 Sunrise, Daiquiri, Gin, Mai Tai, Old Fashioned, Sour, and Vesper. No, it had a different name. Are you unsatisfied with selection? No, no, it's just... Sir? No. Maybe I'm confusing it with some other place. Project Independence. Come and visit Liquid Sky. You there, do you like art? Hello, any plans for Sunday? Liquid Sky is unveiling a new artwork. Oh, I think Amy said something about that. You should definitely go, it's worth it. John, do you want to let a light bulb fly? No. Oh, come on, it's fun. Give me one. John? 
Adam? Mom? Adam, thank God. Are you feeling better? Here, uh, this... Well, I thought you'd... For me? Oh, it's so... Did you get this from the jewelry assembler down the street? Well, yeah. <laughs> I just thought... Uh... No, it's... It's really sweet. Greek fret. Yeah, it has, um... Yeah. Thank you, Adam. You're a darling. You're looking less pale. Thanks. I... Yeah, I, th I feel better. Can I go play? Ah, uh, can he? Yeah, he, he can, of course. But no rampaging. You probably have a thousand questions. I don't, actually. Sure. Why would you? Sorry. My head is spinning. I have to finish up here. Is Governor Kane making you do overtime now? No rest for the wicked. Still the same project? Yeah, but it will be great, Adam. Perfect. You'll see. Oh, this accident. I still can't remember anything. Maybe it's for the best. Post-traumatic stress. Dr. Sykes said it'll go away. So, a nanny. Am I such a bad father? No. I'd say you're more of a... I mean, you're not a complete dud. Oh my god. Is a nanny so bad? John never had problems being alone. John is seven. You want to work again, I'm hardly at home. I think she would be good for him. She'll keep him grounded. Okay? Okay. I have to get some work done, lie down, get some rest. circle. Hmm. How are you today, sir? Good. Fantastic. Should I make you a... No. Hi, Steve. Hey, Richard. How you doing? I'm still alive. Medi Central called us. We were worried about you. I bet you were. 
Seriously? Frank said you would rest up for a bit. I'm fine. I'm coming by. I have to have a chat with you anyway. Privately. Oh, oh yeah. Jenny said you might want to do that. Everything happens at once, right? Okay. I'll see you soon. See ya. Are you looking for something? Can I help? You can help by shutting your mouth. Are you certain you can go back to work, sir? I've got to go. I wish you a productive and successful day. Hey man, hold up. Yo. Passwords, wizards, dark cloud logins. Chase here can get you everything you need. I'm not interested in your crap. Wait, don't I know you? Help our authorities fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime more effectively. Help our authorities improve the lives Great point. of future generations. A nanoscan takes no more than two minutes. Go get scans. At least one of us might have a chance. Yeah, you, you won't even notice. Like at the radiologists. Big pack. Mm-hmm. Ha! At least some is keeping this business alive. Didn't you leave for Mars? Make a new start and all that? Yeah, Nolan. I got myself scanned. I guess that's stupid to you. I do have my principles. And I do have quite a mortgage. A news flash from The Voice, your trusted news source for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin, there's been yet another bombing attack on Kurtz Robotics. The authorities believe the terrorist anti-technology Welcome, Mr. Nolan. You're expected on floor 247.
Good morning. Morning. Richard, I'll talk to you later. Uh huh. Who is he? That is Mr. Davis, sir. Davis? Ever heard of him? Is he new? Mr. Lloyd will introduce you. He is expecting you. God, what's the emergency? I'll go talk to Steve first. Richard, come on, let's take a look at you. Carrie, could you give us a minute? Of course. What's going on? Hold on a second. Hey, you look good. You should go to hospital more often. But rest up for a little while longer, okay? I have to work, Steve. Ah, oh, nonsense. We got Troy now. Take a break. Think of your health. What is Troy doing here? Why did Frank employ him? Well, you should probably ask him that yourself. Support for the team, that's all he told us. I see. Listen, Steve, I've got to talk to you. It's about Tracy. Y you're not splitting up, are you? What makes you think that? Well, nothing. Just a, uh... Just a what? What makes you think that, Steve? Did Tracy tell you something? Well, Jennifer mentioned something along those lines. That you're fighting. Hmm. And why didn't you say anything? People fight. It happens. It, it doesn't have to mean you're gonna split up. Look. Tracy's gone. What do you mean, gone? She said she wanted to take James to her parents and come back Sunday. That was yesterday. Have you been looking for I've called everywhere. She's not at her parents, she's not at the hospital. Well, she'll be back soon, I'm sure. I think she's with another man, Steve. She bought a bot. One of those base five things. A base five? What'd she buy that for? To annoy me, probably. The bot has a memory chip. So? I want to check its log. The bot recorded who entered my apartment. She's leaving? Fine. But James is staying with me. I get it. Now, as far as I know, those chips are encrypted. And that's where you come in. <laughs> Just show it to me. Okay. That's a level two encryption. I can manage that. It'll take some time, though. At least an hour. I have to talk to Frank anyway. Hey, don't worry about them too much. There'll be an explanation. Richard? I'm ready. There's Richard. Hey, all good? Cyber criminals hey. hacked the communication service of the cloud. The hackers created vast numbers of false identities and brought them into certain... I've had enough of that printed junk. Damn embargo. Trusted news source for There's been yet another bombing attack on Kurtz Robotics. The authorities believe the terrorist anti technology Please train, no more than Hey Richard. Long time no see. Because I wasn't here. Richard, come in. Man, what have you gotten yourself into? Yeah, no idea. Just an accident. You can't remember anything? Not the accident, no. What did the doctor say? They said I'll get over it. That's good to hear. <laughs> You'll have to tolerate me a little longer yet. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, Richard, listen. You don't have to rush back into it. Think of your health. You have a family. You're talking as if I were on death's door, Frank. I'm fine. You should take a step back. Really. Don't worry about work. We'll be fine. You'll be fine? What do you mean? Is there something I should know? Uh, wait a second. Uh, Mr. Lloyd, I have time now. A little later, Troy. I'm talking with an old friend. Apologies. Uh, let me close the door. Okay. Now we won't be interrupted. What's going on, Frank? Listen, Richard. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while about this. We've been given new directives from the management. 
Uh -huh. Yes. They concern the work you're doing. Am I fired? <laughs> you can't be serious, Frank. No, not fired. We... We are just restructuring a little. We would like to have you on board as a freelance writer. You'll get a framework contract for one year, and then after that, we'll see. You're kicking me out. I can't believe it. Look, you've done a lot for The Voice, and we really want to hold on to you. Oh, come on. But your column... There's been criticism. <sighs> I understand. Can I at least keep my desk in the newsroom? Richard, we've known each other for a long time, but you have to understand... Fine. Got it. You're a man with an agenda. What we need are journalists. Mankind's abolishing itself, Frank. And what, we can't write about that now? I'm not a terrorist. Richard, it's out of my control. The decision's been made. But you are always welcome here. You can keep using the cloud services. Okay. And if you need anything... I'll come to you. Hey, we're professionals, right? You know as well as I do that things can go this way. Sure, Frank. You probably have stuff to do.